Hey lovelies, I feel like we have been talking a lot of eyeshadow recently here on my channel, so I am so excited to be moving it down the face a little bit into the lips. I'm gonna be doing lip swatches of all of the new shades of the BK Beauty Luxe Lipstick. BK Beauty has had their lipsticks for a while now and they were kind enough to send over to me all of the new shades, they actually sent all of the shades in general. I do have a video up on my channel from when they first launched because I did purchase a couple shades myself. Now I have to say, I feel like the brand did a great job with their first set of shades of having a little something for everybody, but they really were more of your like everyday softer tones. And these shades, there are several that have a really good kick in the pants. So I am excited to try these on. You know that I love a good bold lipstick. So again, like I said, we're gonna be trying on every single shade. I'll be showing you lip swatches. I'll probably be throwing in some arm swatches. I have to be honest, I was gonna do that today. And one of the shades I've already taken to work and I've been wearing and it's at the salon right now. So I'll have to put in some footage of that later. But anyway, I'm really excited to do this video with you today. Can you tell the excitement has sort of like taken over? So if you haven't seen these before, BK Beauty has made a really beautiful component. We have, of course, a beautiful ah, magnetic closure that is so satisfying. And I really do love the formula of this. I think it is a perfect cream lipstick where it is just creamy enough that it slides on the lips. It's great if you have a little bit more texture, you have some wrinkles in your lips. It's very forgiving, but it's not so creamy that it's gonna like just go everywhere. You know what I'm saying? Like I like a creamy lipstick, but I don't like it to be so much that I feel like it's going to feather out or that it's going to wear off really quickly. So this has been a great formula in my opinion. Now these lipsticks retail for $24 and they are 3.5 grams, which seems to be a standard bullet size. I just checked in like, for instance, my Lisa Eldred's lipsticks are 3.5 grams as well. They are code eligible and I do have a code with BK Beauty. It is keep beauty real. That will save you 10%. It is not affiliated in any way. I will have my affiliate link listed down below if you do want to shop through that and support the channel. I of course appreciate that, but you don't have to at any time, of course. Now, like I said, I have purchased two of these on my own. I really do enjoy the formula. I love these new shades. I can't wait to get into these with you. But if we haven't met before, my name is Kelly and I'm a professional hair and makeup artist. And here on my channel, I strive to keep beauty real. Real honest, real relatable, and real fun. So if that sounds like something you'd enjoy, don't forget to click subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos. Videos. We have six lipsticks to lip swatch, so we're just gonna get started right now. All right, lip swatch time. I'm very excited. This is actually day two of me doing lip swatches. I did half of the bunch yesterday, which you'll see in a minute, and we're gonna do half today. Today is all about the berries and pinks. I'm really excited to try these on. The first one we're gonna be doing is, let's see, I'm trying to see which one will probably be better. Let's go ahead and start with Beauty. So the brand describes this as a medium rose pink. This looks really lovely. I cannot wait to try this. I do love a good pink moment. I have to say, honestly, I think I really like all of these colors. I haven't gotten these three on yet, but I think they really nailed this. Okay, so let's go ahead and try on Beauty. Okay, I just realized that I had a little bit of like lip balm on from when I first put on my makeup. That's cheating. We don't want to do that. So I wiped that off. Okay. Oh, I would have loved this one for spring. All right. BK Beauty did this one right. I have to say, I feel like these sort of like bright pink rosy shades can get a little bit hard to do sometimes and not be like Pepto-Bismol texture. And it's funny because I talk about that, but I'm more talking about that like chalkiness when I'm talking about another shade. But it's like, um, you know, you can really start to get that like milky, like shows all the lines kind of thing with a shade like this. And this one does not do that. It is very, very pretty. I have a decent amount of pigment to my lips. And so keep that in mind, you know, because if you have pigmented lips, these are all gonna look really different on you. I think that this is really pretty. I would say if you have even more pigmented lips than I do, I don't know. I think you'd have to like do a liner all over the lip with this one because it does have that brighter base to it that can sometimes over darker lips start to look a little odd, you know, but this, it doesn't have so much white base to it that it, that it gets that like liney feel. Like I think that this, I mean, it looks really good and I don't have the most smooth lips in the world. I do have some creasing. This is really pretty. I think, I mean, even just like with this look today, it just sort of like brightened up my face and oh, I really like this. Okay, so this is beauty. Let's go ahead and try the other two. This next one is gratitude and I think that this is gonna be a good shade if you're looking for a little bit of that berry tone, but you want something more understated. I, I'm thinking that this is gonna be a good everyday shade. 
I didn't really feel like in the original lineup that BK really did many, I probably shouldn't be talking when I'm putting on lipstick, that's dangerous. I didn't feel like they did a lot of like cooler tone, you know, like that undertone that is more of that like cool berry. They were more of your like nude, slightly warm shades. I think there was one that I felt like was cooler. So this is really good if you do like those like mauve tones that have a little bit more coolness to them. This is pretty. Yeah, wow. Okay, so again, the formula of these is just so nice. For me, it really does just hit the mark of that like just creamy enough to be super comfortable. Ooh, I really like this one. And I have to say this shade I think is gonna be really great for people who have a slightly deeper lip color naturally. Maybe you have a slightly deeper skin tone. You're still gonna get that like slightly pinky berry tone, but it's not quite as bright as, uh, what's the one that I just used? Beauty. So I feel like Gratitude is sort of like, you know, a much more calmed down version. It's not quite so pink forward. This is very, very pretty. Okay, our next shade is Faith, and this I believe is the deepest in the bunch of the new shades. This is described as a deep raspberry. I think this is gonna be my jam. Ooh, raspberry jam, that was a pun. Oh yeah, baby. Okay, now I have loaded this up to full saturation. I think that this is one, if you like a more like blotted berry, and I'll do that in just a second. If you like more of a blotted berry, you could totally just like tap a little bit of this on with your finger, blend it in really well. I mean, this is that beautiful, like cool toned berry shade. I think that this is lovely. If you like a bit of a vampy moment, mm -hmm. this reminds me a little bit of, is it Mac Rebel, but like even more comfortable. This is totally like saucy diva vibes. I really like this one. I do think that, you know, like I said, this is definitely the deepest of the bunch. I think this is probably the darkest of all of the shades. I really like that they added a deeper shade in though, because there are people who really enjoy those deep lipsticks. I think that this is gonna be flattering on a lot of people. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and like soften this out and blot some of this off so you can see how you could make this like less saturated. All right, so here you can see I've blotted off quite a bit of that color and it's just left me with like a hydrated stain feel. Yeah, I mean, blotted down, like, I don't know if you can see, it just left like a little bit. So I think this would actually give you good staying power. It's very pretty. It's a little bit more subdued. And again, like I said, it just feels like I just ate like a half a bowl of cherries and this is what I was left with on my lips. <laughs> Okay, I can't wait to show you the other three shades and then I'm gonna give you my final thoughts and pick out a couple faves. All right, so the first shade we're gonna be trying is Grace, which BK Beauty describes as a pink muted beige. This one looks really pretty, just like an everyday throw it on, don't have to worry about it, it'll go with everything shade. All right, just as I say that it's gonna go with everything. <laughs> Now I have to say, I think it's a little cool toned for this look because this is such a very, very warm eye look that I have on. Let me go ahead and turn down the exposure. I, I have this light that's coming through because I didn't like close my blinds all the way, but I just needed a little natural light. I thought that having some natural light like shining in indirectly would help, but if I, if I sit back too far. <laughs> But anyway, this shade is very beautiful. It is definitely a cooler toned, beigey nude, but not gray. I mean, I personally think if you didn't see the warm toned look on my eyes, I think this just looks like a very soft, beautiful nude that maybe leans a little bit cooler. So if you don't like, you know, any cool tones in your nudes, this is gonna be too cool for you. But if you like something that isn't like, it's not concealer lips. You know, especially if I put a lip liner on with this and gave it a bit more definition, I think this would be beautiful. This is gonna be one that I'm using for sure. I also appreciate that it doesn't have, it doesn't have that like chalky Pepto-Bismol feel on the lips. Sometimes lighter nudes, especially when they lean into cool tones, they can just have that like, that chalky look and this doesn't have that. Of course, the same great formula that I know and love from the BK Beauty lipsticks, just that beautiful, creamy, but not overly slighty, but definitely not matte feel. All right, I can't wait to show you this next one. And now on the other side of the spectrum, we have Empower, and this is described as a vibrant orange red. This is a spicy one, y'all. Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm, yep, gonna love this one. I mean, this is definitely that lipstick for someone who really likes a good orange. This isn't like, 
100% orange, but I would say it's like 80% orange. You know, there's not a lot of red to this. It is more of that beautiful, like tangerine, but like a deep tangerine color, like a, like a caramelized tangerine. Ooh, I'm gonna go with that. Okay, I couldn't take it anymore, so I closed the blinds, but I have to say, I don't really wanna take this one off, but there's a red that I wanna try on for you right now, and I'll probably do the other shades tomorrow, but the shade is so nice. I might end up putting this one back on, but we'll have to see the other red. Now this one is called Confidence, and they describe it as a true classic red. Let's go ahead and pop a little bit of this on here. It's very pretty. I will say, I mean, and I don't obviously have much of it on yet, but I feel like it is a bit more, maybe it's just because I just had a bright, bright orange lipstick on, but I feel like it's, a, it's still a little bit more neutralized of a red. Okay, I mean, it is definitely a red, but it's not like, I feel like it still has just a little bit of softness to it. So if you want a red lipstick that doesn't quite scream, you know, it's not like, for instance, like my uh, Velvet Ribbon. I feel like that one just has even more like bam to it, but it's still like a beautiful classic red. This one is a little bit softer. They're both very beautiful, but mm, this one is great too. I will probably wear this one all day, especially because <laughs> I already feel like my lip line is starting to get like a little bit off from having to do three lip swatches. I do really like this shade. It, I mean, it goes beautifully with my eye color. If you have like hazel or green eyes, I think that this would look really nice. It still goes with this eye look too, I have to say. Maybe even like a combination of the two of these would be really pretty with, um, what was that, Empowered, Empower? Yeah, so Empower, like even just doing like a little bit of Empower in the center. Maybe we should try that out. I'm gonna do it real quick. Okay, so I'm just gonna take a little bit of Empower and pop it on the center. I did just go ahead and blot just so I don't have like 16 layers of lipstick on. Yeah, I think I like it with that little bit of that brighter orange color. It just like gives it more like poppy feel. I'm just realizing that it probably looks really dark behind me because my lights aren't set up to have them in the back. So hopefully you're seeing this, you know, early morning lip swatches, what can you do? All right, here side by side in direct natural light, we have grace, beauty, gratitude, faith, and power, and confidence. And then I wanted to show you the same swatches in indirect natural light, so hopefully that helps. All right, I hope you enjoyed those lip swatches. Hopefully they were helpful to you. I really had a lot of fun. And I do have to say, I think I really like every single shade in here. Every single shade has a great formula and it's something that I would wear. The one shade for me that I will have to work with a little bit is Grace and that's that lightest nude shade. For me, this is a shade that I would definitely want to do with a little lip liner just to give it a bit more dimension or it would be something that I would use to like nude out and sort of brighten up another lip color. For me, I mean, this is just like, this is as close to like a nude nude as I get. So for me, it just needs to have a little bit of dimension. Mm, now, okay, as far as favorites. Okay, well you all know that the shade Empower is probably my like number one favorite, that beautiful red orange or orange red. I really think it's like more orange red, orange, like orange with like a little bit of red. It just is so gorgeous. I, I really love that one. And that's the one that I have at work right now because uh, when I did the lip swatches yesterday, I took it and I was like, you know what? Whenever I had that like mixed combo on, I'm like, whenever that fades off, I'm just gonna like put that shade on over the top. And I will say that lip color, uh, that combo that I did with Confidence, was it? And Empower, as I'm going through all of these shades here, I should have just kept them upside down. Uh, yeah, Confidence. So that, stayed on for quite a while. I mean, you know, when I had had breakfast and coffee and all the things, and I still had a good bit of a stain left, so it really wore well, and I didn't feel like my lips were like dehydrated at the end of the day. This formula is really nice. It's not overly hydrating because, you know, then it would be even more buttery and it would like have a little bit more slip slide, but it is very kind to the lips, and so I really appreciate that. Now, I do have to say, this color that I have on right now is Gratitude, and this reminds me of ColourPop Lumiere. It was the Kathleen Lights collab, and I love that color. I like this formula better. It's just, mm, it's just a little bit creamier, and this one is so, so nice. I think that this like cooler, mauve tone is gonna be flattering on just about everybody. I really do like this one. I also think that Faith, that raspberry shade, is just so pretty. It's so pretty, and the fact that this is a comfortable lipstick 
that isn't overly creamy, isn't gonna slide around too much, means that this will be a nice option. You know, maybe you're not into super matte lips, but you do like a bold color. I think that this formula and this color is really great for that. Ugh. Also, I have to say, I really did like the shade Beauty. That was that like lighter pink tone. For me, honestly, that's gonna be that like pop of bright color in a wearable way where I don't have to fuss a lot with it. You know, I personally feel like I could put that on without a lip liner and still feel really nice, like have that pop, even just like dab it on a little bit for like a little extra brightness. These all, these all, I just, I really, really enjoy. There are a couple things. I will say, you know, the red shades, even that Faith shade, if you like a very crisp line, you're going to want to use a lip liner, obviously. I mean, that's with a lot of lipsticks. That is the one caveat for me with this bullet is while I love the packaging, I of course love the little like rose gold detailing. The bullet on here, I just have a hard time getting a super accurate line. And I know that every bullet like softens over time, but the fact that it doesn't have a pointier tip, I miss that because I do like to use that to like get into my Cupid's bow. And then in the corners here, like I just feel kind of awkward. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like I feel like I miss a little bit and then I have to kind of like go in on an edge and there just isn't a sharp edge on this. So that is the one thing with these lipsticks is like it is just a little harder to get a super crisp line. I mean, obviously you can use a lip brush. Like I said, you could use a lip liner. So I think that that is, that is the one caveat to these. But the packaging does really feel beautiful, luxe. You know, it's a weighted component. You have the magnetic clasp. Like I love all of those things. So I think that this launch really hit it out of the park. Now, if there's anything else I can help you with in regards to these lipsticks, please just let me know down in the comments if you have a question about the shades or the formula. I mean, I really do. I really do like this formula. I I will be honest, I think a beautiful creamy lipstick is something that's maybe easier to find than a really comfortable matte lipstick, but I do really enjoy this formula. I think it is just like that perfect blend of like enough stickability, but comfortability. It really hits that mark for me. And of course, I want to thank the BK Beauty team for sending these over to me to be able to share with all of you. I, of course, had a lot of fun getting to wear these lipsticks. I'm going to keep this one on for the day. I'm really enjoying this. Maybe I'll top it off with a little bit of beauty for a little bit of brightness. Should we just do that really quick right now? Let's mix these two together. Why not? Yesterday, I did a little lip combo. Let's do one today. So before we go, let's do this together. We're just going to pop a little bit of beauty right on the center. Ooh, yeah. Okay really, really liking that. Okay. Well, thank you for joining me for this lip cocktail. If you have any other questions, like I said, let me know. I really do appreciate you all so much for taking some time out of your day to spend it with me. Don't forget to click subscribe if you did like this video and I will see you really soon.